I grew up and I just always had something missing, but I never knew what that was. I was a um, borderline atheist. If I didn't see it, touch it, taste it, smell it, it didn't exist. I had a lot of successes, but I had some failures, you know, in relationships and even finances. It was uh, one of my dark days that I didn't get out of bed that day. And I had a TV. Do we have a special one? So I was watching um, 100 Huntley Street. You know, these people are shiny and happy and singing and clapping and, and I didn't have that, but I wanted it. I'm depressed, in bed, not, no will to live, uh-uh, didn't want to do life. And I thought, what do I got to lose? So I challenged God. I said, if you're real, bring it on. Talk to one of our prayer partners. It was Norm McLaren at the time. He said, you know, if you want your life to change, then, then repeat this prayer after me. You prayed that prayer? So I prayed the prayer, and then I'm kind of looking around, I'm waiting for, you know, smoke, lightning, you know, something. And I thought, oh, that didn't work. But God hears, and he knows the cry of your heart, and he slowly but surely transformed my life. I had broken relationships that didn't work. I would look for love in all the wrong places. That, that was my past. And then when God comes in, and he is love, he teaches you how to love others. And so when I met Brad, and uh, he was a godly man because I had set that standard. Yeah, so he rocked my world. <laughs> we want you to plan your life. You know, but a year and a half ago, uh, uh, Brad and I had been, you know, called to, to do a, a ministry together for single young adults. And it's called Motivate. It's based on Matthew 8, which is young people living in integrity, faith, and, and just, you know, to be called to do crazy, audacious things for God. Not everybody knows God. Not everybody um, can figure all that out, such as me. <laughs> so in, in, you know, it's almost like God met me where I was at. So 100 Huntley Street can meet you where you're at. You hear what you need to hear. And uh, it's just a wonderful thing. And I'm so grateful for it. <laughs>